All right, what's up, everybody? This is Bullvine. I just want to give you a quick little tutorial on uh, some tier one quests for seven days today. So, tier one fetch. Fetch involves going to a specified building and searching for a hidden courier satchel. Inside, you'll find White River supplies. Once you have obtained those supplies, you can return to this trader and complete the job. Buried supplies involves going to a specified area that is indicated by a yellow circle and digging until you find the buried supplies. Inside, there's White River supplies, and you'll find some other items as well. And it's all that's needed to actually finish the job is the actual White River supplies. Once you have supplies, return to this trader, complete the job. What we're going to do here is do clear the zombies, which is exactly what it sounds like. It involves going to a specific building and killing all the zombies in that area. Uh, once they've all been eliminated, you return to the trader here to complete that job. So as you see, I accepted this uh, tier one quest here, looked at my map, and I'm on my way over to uh, clear out all the zombies. Whip out your uh, vehicle of choice and head to the location. I try to make this tutorial as tier one as possible, so I'm using the bicycle and everything. So you're going to see the quest can start by using, you're going to see this uh, yellow exclamation mark, which means that's where you start the quest. So you have two options here. You can loot the house and then start the mission, or as I showed, you can start the mission and just complete it. So what you would, the thing is, as soon as you start the mission, this house will reset. So if you go inside, completely loot it, tear everything down, and then start the quest, it'll respawn the whole house with all the loot, and you can potentially loot it all again, or leave it be to make it look appealing in the server. It's completely up to you. So you got two options there. So you can see I'm uh, running around and killing all of the uh, enemies here. So I've killed all the enemies. Um, I could technically return to the trader, complete the mission, but each of these missions is going to have a um, kind of like a... a supply of loot at the end to find it's gonna be usually it's always up high you can see here this is what it's gonna look like this is only tier one loot so it's not as difficult you know it's, it's pretty basic also uh it's depending on what server you're on is gonna be how good the loot is uh this specific server uh has a touch lower uh loot percentage just to make it a little bit more well a touch more grindy to be honest with you with the loot so when you get good loot it's much more you, you love it a lot more um, so anyway, after that, yep, you return to the trader, turn in your quest, Something choose your reward. Surprise, surprise. I suppose you want something in return now. There you go, you've completed a tier one clear the area quest. Level up, you're doing good. In this server, we actually have 200% uh, XP, so less loot, but more XP. So now we're going to do a fetch quest. So you're going to click the fetch, accept it. You're going to go and all you're going to do is go and retrieve supplies when you find them at the location and bring it back to the trader. Here's the yellow. So in order to find it, you see this, where that orange satchel is? That's telling you exactly where the satchel is inside the building. If there's a little arrow on top of it or below it, it's going to show if the, the satchel is above or below you. So here it's on the exact same level. It's not always this easy. This is a tier one. Take the White River supplies, but I'm not finished. I'm gonna loot the house, and I want to try to find those, um, the 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 extra supplies that they have for each of these um, missions. They tend to be in a hard area. They tend to have some end game bosses, so definitely be aware and ready for that. So yeah, it's like upstairs. There's gonna be more difficult. Here we got these uh, burning guys, so they're kind of like the end boss for the level. Uh, so we're gonna take them out. Sometimes it's gonna be a mob of of enemies, so beware. Usually when you you're reaching the the destinations, they have some type of kind of like in quotations boss level, bunch of zombies, harder zombies, that sort of thing. Head back to the trader, turn it in. You've that is how you've completed a tier one fetch. Now we're gonna do a buried supplies tier one buried supplies quest. So, all of these are, most of these are, you're finding these supplies that the couriers have placed around the world and you're trying to bring it back to the trader. So, you're going to go to the location, hop on your handy dandy bicycle or vehicle uh, of choice. Now, this one you got to be a little bit careful. You're going to be doing a lot of digging. Make sure you bring a shovel with you or auger.
kind of clear out the area beforehand. And then start the quest. You see this yellow circle? Now you're going to start digging. You try to locate the supplies. Now you don't want to dig yourself into a hole. Because if you dig yourself into a hole and then zombies jump down and fall into the hole with you, uh, you will die. Or it will be much more difficult to kill them. So as you're digging, try to always keep it at an angle so you're e easily able to jump out. So I've been digging. The, whole, the yellow circle will keep getting smaller and smaller um, as you dig. But you will also have phases where all of a sudden you'll be attacked by um, a mob of zombies. So you just always want to be aware. Uh, this is tier 1, so it's not going to be as big as mob of zombies. But the higher tiers, the more difficult zombies, the more difficult it's going to be finding loot, but the better rewards. I'm trying to keep a nice, easy spot where I can easily jump in and out. Because I know I'm getting close to the uh, supplies. And there it is. And there they are. Able to jump out. Finish these guys. Okay, finish them. Now prepare. Once you actually pick up the supplies, you're going to have another horde of zombies. So you'll see. Uh, so there's the supplies. So I'll pick up the supplies, and you're going to prepare for another horde. Pick them up, and hop on out. Judge me. And there you go. He get the supplies, head back to the uh, trader and turn it in and choose your reward. No public bathrooms here, and don't be peeing on my floor. I sure doubted it, but you pulled it off. And there you have it, folks. Uh, that's how you kind of conclude doing three of the tier one missions. Um, all the missions are the same, they're just a little bit harder each time. Thank you.